Hello, this is Reza from Radacad and in this quick video today I'm going to show you how to replace a value in a card visual or KPI or gauge instead of showing you blank it shows you zero or something else. Very simple trick, let's see how it works. Um, here I have a Power BI file using Adventure Works data source with a couple of tables. You can download the file down in the link in the description below uh, to my blog post. Um, this um, card visual shows the sales amount whenever there is a sales amount, but for a year that there is no sales amount, it shows me blank. Now you want you might want to replace this blank with zero or something else. How you can do that? Um, there are different ways you can do that. One easy way is to create a measure, and uh, the place that you can go and create a measure is under Modeling tab, a new measure. Uh, here I have some sample measure created, and for the measure it doesn't really matter where you create it. You can uh, create it even in the date table. Um, some people prefer it to have it in its own table, uh, like a measure table. Some people prefer to have it in a related table, uh, but it really doesn't really matter that much. You can place it anywhere you like. Uh, so here I created a measure expression like this. I called it sum of sales amount and I said this is equal to sum of the sales amount column inside fact internet sales table. If you haven't wrote DAX expression before, this expression is called DAX. This is the field name inside the table names and this is inside the sum function. So quite simple uh, calculation. Now if I use the same if I use this measure in my uh, card visual, I would get still the same thing. So this time I used the measure, but I would still get the same thing because I just replaced that uh, field with the measure. I haven't really checked if it is blank, do this, if it does not do something else, right? Uh, so that's what I did in my other uh, calculation. So here, uh, this is, let's say, enhanced version of that calculation. All I did is I just uh, put that sum of sales amount inside a variable. Variables are helpful for having better performance and better readability. And here I said if that value is blank, if the result of that value is blank, put zero. Otherwise, show me the result of that variable. Right. You can do this without variable, like this is how I would do it without variable. If it's blank of sum of sales amount, zero otherwise sum of sales amount but instead of repeating this sum of sales amount twice uh, using variable usually makes it more readable and uh, better performance as well right uh, so now if i use that in this uh, in this card visual you see that uh, for scenarios that it is blank it returns zero and for those scenarios that it is not blank it just returns the value for it Right, so really simple. All you need to do is just to create a measure like this. Now, a few uh, tips and considerations about this method. Uh, one is that we are using a measure uh, to replace the blank with zero or something like that. That means your actual data rows uh, is not changed. Anything in the data is still the same thing. We haven't changed the shape of the data. It is just presenting the data in a different way. Another thing is that sometimes you need to use sum, sometimes you need to use average, minimum, maximum, count, depends on what you want to show in your card visual. Here, because in my card visual, I showed uh, sum of the sales amount, that is usually the default aggregation for numeric fields. Um, so as a result, when I created that measure, I said sum of sales amount. If that was average here, you should use average or something like that. Uh, another thing about this uh, method is that you can uh, uh, format this measure because you've created this measure. Now you are showing the measure in the card visual. You can format it and you can format it in the measure tools. Uh, there's a section that you can format it. If it is currency, set it as currency. If it is percentage, if you need thousand separator, anything like that, you can do the formatting. Usually after this change, you'll go and hide the actual sales amount column. You can right click on it and hide it. And when you hide it, you won't see it in this view. You would still see it in the model tab or in the data tab. 
uh, and you would be a still, uh, you would be able to still use it in a calculation, but you won't see that here in the visualization tab. Because here, whenever you want to use it, you use just this measure instead. And one other thing is that um, this uh, can return something else. So instead of zero, you can say return something else. Here is another example of that. Um, so here I returned no sales instead of zero. So it's not always uh, zero that you can return. So the result of that is like this. You see, this is exactly the same expression. I just said, if it is blank, return no sales. And it returns like this. Uh, one really important thing that you need to know before uh, uh, going and doing this is that this method is good for visuals that show one single value, which is card visual, gauge, um, KPI visual, things that show only one single value. But what about visuals that shows multiple values, like table visual, matrix, column chart, line chart, bar chart? For those, you might see a possible issue. Here, let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, this is, let's say, the sales amount, and this would, uh, right now this is a measure, but if you use sales amount as a field, you would get the same thing. I see the sales amount only for the years that there's a sales in it, right? But when I use that expression to replace blanks with zero, I also see these two rows. Even though there is no sales for these two uh, years, I would still see that. Some people are fine with that, some people are not. This is just something I need, uh, I'm need. i explaining to you that you need to be aware of if you are using a method like this and if you are using that measure inside a visual like table or matrix or a visual that shows multiple values, you expect to see values even if there is something that doesn't return anything for that value because you said replace that with blank. So here you go, this is a method that you can use um, to replace your blank value with something else, zero or something else. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.